Hello, and welcome to our Lenten devotional. As you can see, I've brought you to the mountains. I'm all dressed up and ready for this cold weather, but I invite you to a warm chat, actually, that we're going to have today. You know, some of the words I've been hearing from those of you with whom I've been talking is unsettled. I feel like I don't know what's gonna happen next. And day to day, I don't know what each day will bring, some of you tell me. That's kind of how I've been feeling too. So today I thought, what can I do to stay grounded? And of course, the mountains bring me great joy. I came out here several times to bring wood in for the wood stove. I came out to just look at the snow in the trees, watching it fall and listening to all the sounds. It's a beautiful place. And then I was reminded of the words of Mother Teresa about living with hope. She says a couple good things I want to read to you from my devotional book. There's a strange irony to contemporary life, particularly to life in the West, she says. We have so much, and yet we still complain. We have so much power, and yet seem to be so insecure. There's so much that's been given to us, and so much that is hopeful about life and its possibilities, and yet we're often negative. To see good in the midst of poverty and difficulty requires eyes of faith. And to be thankful and rejoice in the midst of provision also requires a heart of faith. Well, sometimes it feels as if we can't see the hand of God, but friends, we can have hope. I don't know where you find your hope, but I truly find it in the mountains. I'd like to sing you a song that Daryl wrote that I sing often that reminds me of God's goodness, and I hope it'll bless you today. I lift up my eyes to the mountains, from where is our help to come? Our help comes from our God, the maker of heaven and earth. God will not allow your foot to slip. God will not slumber nor sleep. Isn't that wonderful? God will not slumber nor sleep. Even when you and I are having a hard time, God is awake with such beautiful, tender care. Let us pray. Loving God, you gave us this beautiful world. And in the midst of our crisis, in the midst of struggle, let us be reminded of your good gifts. Thank you for people to whom we can reach out and connect. Thank you for food and shelter. And we ask your great mercy on all those who are suffering this day. We trust your healing hand. Amen. Have a blessed day.